Hello! Welcome back to my YouTube channel everyone. My name is Shayan McCoy and in today's video, you'll be getting a little tutorial. Now, a few, well, a few years ago, but as recently as I'd say like two months, I posted on my story as usual on Instagram and I was wearing these nose cuffs. Now, a few people DM'd me asking, hey Chloe, where did you buy your nose cuff? And I was like, no girl, no girl, because yeah, guys like them too. I did not buy them anywhere, you know, I made them. Do you sell them? No, I don't. I'm thinking that I should, but you know, I haven't really given much thought to selling jewelry because starting a business is not as easy as everyone thinks it is, right? So I don't want to make any promises to say that, hey, I'm going to start selling them and then I really don't. Um, so if it's a case where they want them, I'll be fine, I'll be okay with making them for them and giving them at a little cost, you know, because I still have to buy the materials. But for right now, no, I'm not selling them. I just do them because honestly, I really want to get a nose piercing, you see, but your girl is scared, okay? I've never really felt the pain of needle other than injections, you know. But my ears have been pierced ever since I was a baby, so obviously I'm not going to remember how that feels, you know, but I don't have another piercing. My tongue isn't pierced, my belly button isn't pierced, my nipples ain't pierced, so I'm scared to pierce my nose. Plus, my nose is very sensitive because a lot of the times in the past, in like the summer months, the tip of my nose would get dark. Like get black and I was like what why and that happened a few times um, but what I've gotten to realize is that I used to touch my face a lot right um, and you know you push up your nose for you know clear up the look of something that went in there so I would do that and then I realized that that's the reason why all of the times my nose would strip or the tip of it would get very dark right so I've stopped doing that you know so that really doesn't happen but in the same breath I'm still very touchy about my nose <laughs> I said very touchy about my nose and I touch my nose at the same time <laughs> I'm so funny anyways um Right, so in this video, you'll be getting a little tutorial on how I do my nail scuffs. Now, I did four different styles. They're pretty similar, but um, I'll be showing you the process step by step of what I use, the cost of what I use, um, the cost of the materials that I use, pretty cheap, and where you can get them, and how they look, how to do them. Yeah, pretty simple. So, like I said, four different styles. Um, yeah, so, here, here goes the video. I hope you like it. I promise I'm not drunk. I'm hyper. I don't know why. Okay, so we have a basic kitchen scissors. That's the only one I could find. Please don't judge me. Uh, we have a ruler to measure the length of the wire that we would want to use. Uh, we have a pliers that we'll use to twine the wire and we also have the aluminum jewelry wire that will be the main wire using and we have this beading wire but it's not necessarily the best one to use um, but we have it. We have some basic rubbing alcohol and some cotton pad to sterilize the wire. And right here we just have some uh, some examples of nose cuffs that I've made recently and I'm going to be making one similar to one that is already there but that's just to give you guys like a little preview of what the end result will look like so now we're just gonna open up the plyos and just to note uh, I got the wires the plyo 
pliers from who the hell says plier the wires and the pliers from <laughs> rhyming from Fontana um, the pliers was like for 650 and the wire was for I don't want to tell any lies basically $300 but you know after taxes added it's not $300 anymore so right now I'm just taking out the wire and I'm going to measure it uh, usually I want to get between say three and a half to four inches of wire because you'll be doing a lot of twining a lot of bending and you just want to make sure that you have enough length so you don't feel like you're cutting yourself short you know so right here that's what five inches we're gonna cut it and I must say that this jewelry wire it's pretty soft it's pretty easy to use it's it's easy to bend so you will not have a problem with it you can use your fingers and you can definitely use the pliers itself to bend it with ease so right now you want to make sure that please do not watch my alcohol bottle I've had it for a while uh, we're just gonna sterilize the, the the wire itself so you know whenever it goes on my nose it does not uh, cause any damages to my nose Ensure that you straighten out the wire before you get started. So right now, I'm just going to take the pliers and you want to make sure that you always bend the end of the wire that you're using. Both ends actually because you don't want that part that you cut, it's, it's kind of sharp. So you don't want it to cut on your skin, to cut your nose whenever you put it on it, right? So you want to make sure that you bend it under to prevent it from cutting you. With this, you have to make sure that you're bending it, uh, let's say, bending it and it's not curving. Because the wire, it has a tendency of like bending in the middle whenever you're twining it. So you want to, if you notice, I put the wire itself in like the middle of the pliers when I'm turning it. So that it kind of keeps it straight and it doesn't cause it to like warp while I'm bending it. With doing, um, this is kind of like wire wrapping ish, you know. Um, but in doing this, a lot of the times I just freestyle because the wire it's pretty easy to bend, as you can see, right? So I pretty much freestyle a lot of the times, or if I may look online and I see a, a design that I like, I may want to try it, but a lot of the times. You have the wire and you really just go whichever direction that the wire takes you and you just go with it because in all of this it's art you know art can never be wrong yes there are different techniques that you have to follow in order to do things properly but in the same breath like who is going to see me and be like you did not do that correctly nobody because style is style Art is life and whenever I have this on my nose, can't nobody tell me anything differently, okay? I'm making a fashion statement so you can save your opinions with whatever you think about my nose stuff. So this is how this one turned out. I really love it. It's pretty long so you know it goes further up on your nose. Um, but you can always make them shorter if you're more into less dramatic styles but this is pretty much how it turned out and remember when I said that you should always curve the both ends of the wire you want to do that because one part of the wire is going to be on the outside of your nose and the other one is going to be inside your nose and you don't want it cutting it so you have to make sure that you curve it 
So right now I'm just working on another design and it's pretty much the same steps but you just you know curve it differently based on whichever design that you're going off of. Okay, so I pretty much finished working on the designs. I worked on four different designs, but I'm not really going to show you guys the, the cuff that I got from the beading wire because that did not really turn out so great. And I would not recommend you guys using that because it's very flimsy. So there you have it guys, a pretty simple yet detailed tutorial on how you can get no scuffs now with these materials i got them at fontana like i love shopping at fontana uh they have a little crafty section so all you have to do is i would suggest you watching youtube videos first right so you can get the basic understanding about what you need to do you know what it would take for you to do this and tell yourself that you can do it Whenever you feel very, you know, like you really want to experiment, try something new, I suggest that you go and try to do nose cuffs if it's something that you're interested in. It's pretty simple. The, the ones that I did, it took me like a little over 10 minutes to do and that's all because I did four different styles. Uh, it, if I only did one, I'm pretty sure it would take me like under five minutes. So it's not time consuming. Um, if you choose to buy only one size or one little thing of wire, it can last a very long time because like I said, all you have to do is sterilize the wire itself and even after you have this, you can take them out and you can unwrap the wire and then you can try different designs. So it's not a case where you have this and it stays like this forever, it can if you wanted to. but. You can turn it into different styles okay so i hope you love this video if you did please leave a like please leave a comment so you know we can interact and please share it on your different social media platforms uh once again my name is sharon and you can find me on instagram at underscore underscore k-h-l-o dot e and i would love it if you follow my business pages at mc.mccoycreatives and shaymac dot art please feel free to reach out to me you can dm me tag me in you know when you're watching my video tag me so you know i can repost and interact so thank you so much again and bye have a good day